hey, hey, my name is Emilio. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I love technology, hopefully you do too, which is why you're watching this. You wanna learn more. And we're also gonna have a look at a laptop and a desktop and give you a comparison between the two. The outside ports and what you're sort of looking at in terms of the differences and how they sort of function. So it's gonna be a little bit fun. So enjoy, let's get onto the video right now. So here's a spread of some computers. You see we've got a mix of both desktops. These are four different sorts of desktops, different form factors. So some are bigger, some are slightly smaller. And then here we've got four different sorts of laptops. So we've got three Windows based laptops, one small, two larger, standard size, 15 inch laptops. And then we've also got a Mac down the very back, that being a 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro. So right away, you can see that they're obviously very, very different. So you've got your desktops themselves. Of course, you need to get yourself an external screen. You run that into the back. Uh, and that's really the only way that you can use it is actually by connecting it to an external screen. While the laptops themselves, uh, they're the laptop with the screen all built in. So if we're specifically looking at some desktops, uh, we've got a spread here, two which are larger, which is more of a standard size desktop that you may find in a home or in a business environment. Uh, these, obviously, because they're larger, you can actually fit a lot more components inside of them. While these other two, these are more small form factor computers. So this is a smaller Lenovo computer. And then above it, this is a Intel NUC. And of course, these are nice, they're compact. They're a bit um, easier to sort of fit around. But of course, as a result of that, you're not gonna be able to fit as much uh, equipment inside of them. So that's something to be considerate of. That generally what you may find is that the larger computers like this, you're gonna be able to get a lot more performance and a lot more power out of them. And in some cases, they may even be easier to actually upgrade. These are very easy to open up and put more devices into them. These can be a bit more challenging and you can sometimes be a little bit more limited in what you can actually change and update within them because they are smaller. Um, they're more custom built within the casing itself. So you may not be able to actually go and change certain components because they're sort of custom built for that smaller form factor computer. So let's specifically look at the front of them. All right, so these two down the very bottom, they've obviously got a CD, DVD drive. Now, a lot of computers nowadays may not actually have these because they're sort of being phased out, but in this case, they've both got them. Uh, these two have obviously got the stickers on the front that let you know that these have got Intel uh, processes within them, and then the sticker that actually shows you what operating system is actually coming with the computer. Now, these are uh, slightly older computers, so this one says Windows XP and that one says Windows Vista, but you can generally run a newer version of the operating system. And just because it has the sticker of this particular Windows operating system, doesn't mean that you can't install other operating systems onto it. It's just generally what's gonna come bundled with these two computers. But then of course you can upgrade these to really whatever version of Windows you want on them. Uh, the front of these, you've got a couple of USB ports on here. You've also got a microphone and a headphone jack. Slightly similar on this one, you've got a couple of USBs and then the headphone and the microphone jack on the left hand side. You've also got the power, power on, on these two right there. And then you've also got some LED lights. This one doesn't have as many, but the actual power button itself is its own LED light. While this one has a couple of LED lights right there, where you can see uh, essentially how the hard drive is performing and whether if it's powered on or not. So some of the desktops at the front may have uh, multiple LED lights to let you know the activity, the status, how the computer itself is performing, and others won't. These two at the very top, they're a lot more small, they're a lot more compact. On the top of this Intel NUC, you've got a power button on the very top. And on this one, this is a Lenovo, you've got a power button on the actual front. And you've also got a couple of USBs here and here. The different colors means that they're a different type of USB, different speed of USB. And then you've got a headphone and a microphone jack, while this one has just got the, uh, the speaker jack itself. So the back, there's a lot more going on in the back of these computers. Now, these two down the bottom, I did say that we're slightly older. So there are some ports on here that you're not gonna commonly find as much on newer computers nowadays. But let's just have a look at at least these two first. On the actual far right, you've got the actual power adapters. And of course, that's where you run your power cable. They also call them kettle cables. 
and you run that into your power. And then there are fans and everything on the sides of that to make sure that everything there stays nice and cool. As on the front, you've also got your actual audio jacks, your ins and your outs, your inputs and your outputs for your audios, for your microphones, for your speakers on both of these computers. Uh, the top one right up here, we've got a whole stack of USB ports, right? At the moment, there are actually six USB ports here, and then there are a whole bunch on the front. So there's quite a lot of USB ports available. You've also got your ethernet point right there, where you can run one of those blue network cables into there, and then potentially get access to the network or get access to the internet. Here we've got some uh, older cables. Generally, you're not gonna find at least these two as often. These are some older common printer port cables. You may not find these in modern day computers as much as you will in these older ones. But then here you've also got a uh, port to run a VGA screen. So you're gonna run that into a cable and then potentially into a screen. Uh, this is an analog cable. So some newer computers, you're not gonna have this one. You're gonna have some different sorts of um, connections, which we'll find in these two up here. But that is a summary on here. On the left here, you've got a couple of slots. Now this is the great thing about a desktop is you can customize this and add additional functionality. So once we open this up and we have a look at it inside, you will actually see that you can actually get access to the motherboard inside and actually buy and install additional cards where you'll be able to get additional port types, different functionality that you can add right into here, expanding everything that you've got over there. Similar to on the bottom, you've got all of these slots on the very far left of this computer. We can do something very similar and add some expansion ports. Let's look at some of the other ports here. Whole bunch of USBs there as well, your ethernet, you've got your screen port, your VGA, the older ports that we mentioned before. And then you've even got some older school uh, mouse and keyboard. Now you're really not gonna see these anywhere anymore, but in the olden days before USB, Keyboards and mice need to be plugged into these ports right there. So you may still have some computers laying around that have these ports, but that's what they are. And most most of the time now, you're not gonna really use them. Um, if you've got a keyboard and mouse that um, has USB and you don't have any USB ports, you can also get adapters to run into there to convert that to USBs. But that's the back of those two. Let's look at the ones at the very top. Now right here, you'll see that this particular one has got a big antenna. Of course, that is used for Wi-Fi. So uh, there is a Wi-Fi adapter inside of this. There is Wi-Fi in this one as well, but this particular one has an antenna. So you can screw that antenna out, you can put it back, you can get a new one, and you can see that you actually adjust it. And what you would do is generally, you would point this in the direction of your Wi-Fi modem, your Wi-Fi router, to be able to get your strongest Wi-Fi signal. But that's just there. It may not even be needed sometimes. You could actually probably remove it and you still get pretty good Wi-Fi coverage. But Apart from that, we've got our, um, we've got USBs, you've also got ethernet, you've also got the VGA, very similar, it's just black here, but it's the same as this blue port right here. USBs, as I said, this is a display port, so this is more of a digital um, version of a display, so this is analog, this is digital, and you can run that into a screen that has a display port. You can also get adapters that convert display into other sorts of devices, such as DVI, or HDMI, which is other video types, but that's also available for you if you so choose to. And then there's a little port there to actually get a um, lock, so you can actually lock that computer right there. And then of course we've got our power. The one at the very top, this being our Intel NUC, this is the smallest one of them all. You've got a smaller form factor um, HDMI, so you can actually convert that to a larger HDMI, and that's what's gonna be run also into a screen. You've got some USBs, you've got some grills here for fans. You've got the power running in. You've also got this display port. So this is another sort of video connection. And you'd get also an adapter to convert that into whatever, HDMI for example, or other sorts of um, video connections. And then of course your ethernet point as well. We can run your network cable into it, all right? So that's the three of these computers bit of a summary on the back and the differences, and every computer is gonna be different, all right? You're gonna get some that have more, less ports, others that have got newer ports, others that have got a mix of older and newer ports. It's really gonna depend on the computer itself. So here we got our four laptops that we're gonna be showing you. Now, the two on either end are Lenovo's. This is a bit of an older one. This is a bit of a more newer one. So this one's got a Intel Core i7, while well, that's got a slower Intel processor. Then we've got an Asus or an Asus smaller form factor laptop. 
and then the MacBook Pro on the back. Now these ones, they're generally the PC ones, you're gonna have a lot of the stickers on the front, on the top of them, letting you know what's inside of them, the processor, the operating system. Um, this one in particular has got Windows 7 that came bundled with it. But of course, any of these laptops can be installed with any Windows-based or even a Linux-based operating system without problem. The Mac down the very back, generally is not gonna have any stickers on it. You're not gonna find stickers on uh, MacBook or Macs or even the desktop uh, Mac computers because Apple doesn't like to do that. So it's just a little bit more clean and uh, nicer looking in my opinion. Now, unlike desktops, laptops are a little bit more difficult to upgrade. Now, not saying that they cannot be upgraded, they definitely can, but some are more easier than others. Some you won't be able to update at all unless you were to take it, say, to an actual computer store for them to actually do it themselves. So in the case of this particular one right here, this one you can easily remove the hard drive on the side, which we'll show you in a little while, and you can stick in a new hard drive. These ones may, may be a little bit more difficult to get access to the hard drive because there's multiple screws on the bottom to actually open up the computer. So you're not easily accessible. Um, the hard drive and the RAM and everything isn't easily accessible to be able to go and replace yourself. That's also true with the Macs. The MacBook uh, laptops themselves, you really cannot upgrade anything yourself. You have to take it down to an Apple store to do it. Now, none of these four have got a CD or DVD drive, right? You can buy a laptop still that they have a CD or DVD where you can actually access it from the left or on the right of the computer, but these ones do not have that. And it's pretty common nowadays that you're not gonna be getting that as often. So you can install the operating system in other ways, generally by getting a USB stick that you run into the side of the computer with the operating system on that already. And that's how you install the operating system. You can also, in the case of say a Mac, you can boot it into some sort of a setup screen you connect it out to the internet and then it downloads the operating system directly onto the computer and that's how you actually install the operating system. While on a desktop, you may have a little bit more flexibility around using a CD DVD drive if that is on that computer. So here we've got the side of the computers. Now, of course, you can have ports on both sides. Generally, of every one of these computers is gonna be different ports and the type of laptop, how old the laptop is, the brand, they're gonna include different ports on the side of these computers. So this laptop right here, this one is our Lenovo. You've got a USB-C, which of course USB-C is the newer sorts of USB that are available. So that can be used for power or plug in a USB device into it. You've also got another PowerPoint uh, port for a different sort of power adapter. USB, generally these are gonna be USB 3. And then you've got your HDMI where you can actually run a screen into that. This one right here, this is a smaller, this is the Asus or the Asus. You've also got USBs on the side. Then there is a headphone jack to actually plug in your headphones or your speakers. And then we've got our ethernet point. Now this is of course where you'd run a network cable into it. And then you've got a little lock where you can run that computer into an actual lock and actually lock it to a desk, for example, so that nobody steals it. Here we've got another uh, Lenovo. This is a ThinkPad Lenovo. On the very far left, we've got our power that runs into that sort of power adapter. You've got some fans. You've also got some USB. This is a VGA port, so you can actually run a VGA screen into it. Of course, you can run adapters into that so you can convert it into different sorts of screen types if you have DVI, HDMI, etc. You've also got another USB on this side. And now you've also right here got another ethernet point. Now what you'll find is not all laptops nowadays have got ethernet, or at least you don't have the port available. Because as the laptop gets skinnier, in the case of this one, which we'll look at in a second, there is no space for an ethernet port. So here you can run a network cable right into it. Um, but in other ones, like the Mac, like the other ones that we're gonna look at, you don't have that. So you may have to ha get a USB adapter where you run it into the USB port. And then the other end is this ethernet point right here. But at the same time, laptops nowadays all come with Wi-Fi built in. So you may not even need to use that ethernet port unless that's what you specifically need to connect your laptop out to the internet or to a network. And then finally, our MacBook Pro. Now this particular MacBook Pro, is really solely set up with USB-C ports. So this particular one has got two USBs on this side and two USBs on the other side. They're all USB-Cs, so you are gonna have to have adapters to be able to run any other devices into it. If we look at all the laptops as a whole, uh, most laptops nowadays, you can actually connect them to docks. All right, so you actually get a laptop dock that you potentially sit the laptop on top of, 
or you actually run a cable into the side of the laptop into a dock and the back of the dock has a number of different connections into there. So for example, this one could have a USB-C coming out of it and then into a dock where you've got HDMI, you've got your ethernet point, you've got other sorts of connections, other USB connections into the back of that so that you're not limited to just the ports that are on here. And that's really true of any of these laptops and any other laptops. You can always expand the actual ports that are gonna be on the side of any of these laptops. So that's it, the differences between a desktop and a laptop. Hopefully you learned something new. Thank you, do what you need to do in the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking on that bell so that you don't miss out on anything. And do also check out some of my other videos if you do wanna check out all things tech.